Meanwhile, here in New York State, Governor Andrew Cuomo faces multiple investigations and calls to resign. A new report has uncovered a Facebook fan base determined to keep him in power. Women for Governor Cuomo has been organizing its more than 1,000 members to attend rallies, call lawmakers, raise money to support the governor despite allegations against him, according to the Wall Street Journal. Fox Nation even exploring those very allegations <laughs> in a brand new special. The most trusted Democratic leader in America. Purposely withheld the number of nursing home deaths due to COVID. New accusations of sexual harassment. I'm not going to resign. I am not part of the political club. Nobody knows more about the homes, the nursing homes, uh, the deaths at the nursing homes than our own Fox News senior meteorologist Janice Dean, who lost both of her uh, husband's parents during the COVID crisis. Janice, good morning to you. Good morning, Steve. What do you make of uh, the support group that has formed? It's disappointing, um, but it's not going to deter us for, from wanting accountability from this governor. Um, and many of us have been trolled uh, on social media by these groups of women and others who support Governor Cuomo, including members of his own administration. Uh, and I've also seen a lot of new social media accounts within the last couple of weeks start to troll me on social media. So I think part of his administration is trying to, you know, encourage uh, these accounts to start to um, try to silence us. And I know that that's not going to be the case with you. Uh, you know, but the, the news just keeps coming. Uh, we saw from the uh, New York Times over the last week that apparently when uh, Mr. Qu Governor Cuomo is working on his, on getting the $4 million book advance, uh, because he was a genius when it came to handling the pandemic, uh, it turns out his staff was quashing scientific evidence because if the real numbers were out there, he might not get the $4 million bucks. Right, and I think all of the proceeds from his $4 million book should go to the victim's families. Son of Sam Law, he's profiting off the deaths of our loved ones, and he tried to cover it up. If that's not obstruction of justice, I'm not sure what is. And the fact that the New York Times and the Daily News today, which is Cuomo's favorite newspaper, uh, is really, you know, shining a light on the fact that he continued to cover these numbers up. And more and more, it looks like he wanted to cover them up because he wanted to sell this $4 million book. Ultimately, what is the end game for what uh, Mr. Cuomo is doing right now? Is it to avoid impeachment or is it to run for governor again? Well, I believe the impeachment is a bit of a sham. Uh, New, York City, New York State lawmakers have just proven time and time again that they are spineless and they just continue to drag this so-called impeachment process out. I don't believe that's going to happen. He's not going to resign. So I believe ultimately we have to vote this governor out. And, you know, there are still many investigations against him. I'm hoping justice will prevail in the federal investigation and in the FBI investigation and the Justice Department investigation. All right. Janice Dean, join us today. Janice, thank you very much. Thank you, Steve.